What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to vinyl wrap the front door on an Audi A4. We're using TechWrap Super Gloss HD Khaki Green. It's a new color and a newer version of their finishes. Super Gloss meaning tons of gloss in this finish. Uh, they use a PET release liner, but we'll get into all those details as we install it. You're going to want to do a few things here. Remove the door handle, remove the window trim, remove the mirror. I know it might be a little bit of a process, but it's good to do it because it gets things out of the way. It makes your job a lot easier. It also makes the, the application a lot cleaner. We're going to be doing all the trimming, all the details, the laying of the film and so forth. Uh, so the video will be in great detail for you and show you and explain exactly what you need to do. Recommend installation temperature is around 20 degrees Celsius. You know, you don't want to go too hot. Um, the warmer the environments, usually the more sticky the film becomes. So keep your, try to keep your environment cooler. Uh, the film won't rip, it won't snap, it won't break. It's very durable, it's very strong. Uh, and also does stretch pretty freely in ambient room temperature as well. I'm just going to mist my clean microfiber cloth and we're gonna wipe this off one more time. What we'll do now is we're gonna take our piece of film. It's already cut to the shape and size, mostly to the shape and size. I might trim some more off. We're going to place that film over top of our door. I'm gonna lean against it just very gently and anchor the film down using magnets. If you don't have, if your car is not magnetic that you're wrapping, you can peel off a corner and stick that down. Now on the bottom side right here, this is where the door ends. We're gonna be trimming off an extra, some of this extra vinyl here. So I'm just gonna make a line with my finger. Hopefully that defines it a bit for me and I, this way I can kind of see it and just cut below it. I don't have to trim off a lot, just a bit, it helps. Again, keep the scraps, can be used for door handles, inlay setups, and so forth. This film has a protective cap on it. This is only good for shipping purposes. So we're gonna remove that protective cap right now. You cannot install the film with this cap on it. You might be able to get away with it on a door, but in most cases, you're not gonna be able to get away with it. The door is fairly flat. It's one of the flatter parts of the vehicle. Let's now remove the release liner. So to do that, we're gonna peel up this end over here. And you can see the static from removing the protective cap is quite a bit. So we wanna obviously make sure that our area is clean. Pull this off and roll the release liner off. Try not to put your hands too far behind the material because of the static, it can draw in any loose contaminants or debris that might be on your clothing or you know, drawing some hair off your arms, that sort of thing. So we wanna make sure that um, we're not drawing in anything behind it. I'm gonna put this magnet down here just for safe measure. That's on the opposite side, it's on the fender side. You don't wanna put your magnet down on the side where you're wrapping. I'm gonna open up this end here and roll this off gently. As you, noticed, I might, as you might have noticed, I tacked the film down to the actual panel, just at the top and the bottom, to help anchor it and hold it. I'm gonna pull that back a little bit, and this is how I like to do it. Now you can do this in two ways. You can pull off some of the release liner and wrap the door a bit at a time, similar to how I did the hood, or you can do it like this. This is my preferred way. If we get this down really nicely right now, it will be quite easy to do, and you'll see it. Let's pull this area up and let's make this area flat. Doesn't require a lot of stretch or a lot of pull. There we go. And I'm gonna pull it right across just like this. Now I'm gonna hold that bottom section with my hand. We're gonna take this right here and we're gonna anchor it to the body line by pulling it outwards left and right. By that, I mean this body line right here. Perfect, looks really good. Awesome. Now what we'll do is we're gonna to start to squeegee. So I like to start at the body line right here. I am actually going to get some soap and water. It also reduces friction. And then we're just gonna mist the surface fairly lightly there. Now you can spray the actual buffer on your squeegee or you can mist the surface as I did. Just make sure you don't get any soap and water behind the actual film. It won't, it won't adhere, it won't bond very well. Let me bring the camera in to give you guys a better point of view. Now that the camera's a little bit closer, we're going to lock in the top edge. This is, I, I prefer doing the top section first because this actually eliminates the chance of getting debris or contaminants behind the film. Now that I've popped the film up slightly, I'm going to squeegee 
the film, and this is going to allow the air out much easier. So I just kind of hold it, I'll do the same thing here, watch. There we go. And I do that, usually do that fairly quickly. Uh, we don't want to sit there and pull it forever. So I try to do that quickly as I lift it. There we go, just like that. I find uh, the film releases really nicely uh, when, it's good, when it's a good room temperature. There is a recess in here, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to push the film into that recess. It's not a very deep recess, it's very shallow. But to prevent moving the film around too much, we're going to put our glove on and then we're just going to push the film right into that recess, right there. You're going to see it. There we go. Just had a little air bubble there. There we go. Awesome. It's looking really good. I can take my glove off now. I may miss the surface a little bit more right around here because we're going to be squeegeeing all of this area right now. Now what I like to do here is I like to profile and come right around the door handle. So we're going to be doing that. Don't even really need a glove for that since there's some soapy water on the film already. So that just shows me exactly where that door handle is. And let's come right across now. The air release does work well, so you can count on the air release working for the most part. But again, if it gets too tight or too stuck for too long, it might be a little bit challenging to get some of this air out. So if I sit here and wait too long, it's going to be challenging to get the air out. The key to this particular door, but many, all, many other doors also, is that this body line and this body line here, if we pull the film tight across here, we're going to be essentially bridging a gap, which will help let the air out down in this area. I have another larger bubble right here, so we're just going to see if we can actually get this one out. I'm going to pop the film up. I don't really want to, but that's okay. It's not going to, it's not going to hurt anything. See how close we are? We're just trying to bridge this gap right here. So we're going to pop that up. Watch. There we go. One more. There we go. Now I'm just going to hold it. I'm going to hold that tight right now. And we're going to squeegee this area down where the film is making contact with the panel. Once we get it to about that point right there, we're just going to pull that tight one more time. We can squeegee right along this body line right here. And basically what's, what we're doing right now is we're bridging this gap. So by that I mean we're bridging this point right here to here. That allows us to really squeegee the film much more easily, okay? Now what I do recommend doing in most cases is squeegeeing down into the recess first. So we're gonna get this a little bit closer and then we're just gonna squeegee the film right into this recess right here. Now this is not a very deep recess, okay? So this is not something that's really threatening or a concern. We're gonna start from here, work our air outs this way to this end. We're always trying to work our air outs to soft areas, which means there's no tight body line right here and the air will just come out really easily. See how that goes? Perfect. Bottom section right here, let's do it. I'm just gonna let the film hang because I don't even need to really add any pressure or tension to it right now. It's looking pretty straight. I'm just gonna fix it up a little bit as I go along and make sure that it does remain and stay straight. But we shouldn't really need to do much with it right now. Squeegee pressure is important. Okay, we're pretty much, I think, right at the bottom there. That's good. Once we get to the bottom, we can squeegee straight down like that, as I just did right there. Uh, if you're watching, there is a paint run here because the door has been repainted. What we need to do next is we need to trim out our excess film. We're going to start in the middle of this gap right here. And I'm not going to put too much of my knife out. And then we're just going to wrap the rest around. I don't wrap the whole thing around. I just wrap some of the film around. Whatever film is excess, I wrap it around, but I'm not cutting on the fender side. I'm actually cutting right in the middle and I'm using my knife to keep it everything right in the middle. On the bottom here, so how we do the bottom. Lift that up right off, right off of the rocket panel. Good. And then this is how I do the bottom. We're gonna come around and we're gonna force some of that film just down and around the underside slightly. It's not gonna be much. We're gonna have maybe an eighth of an inch wrapped around. You can see that the film is coming around the underside of the edge. So that's good, it's good enough. You can wrap around further if you like to, but we don't really need to. Um, there's no, no tension on the film down here, so there should be no pullback 
uh, over a period of time. Pullback is usually something that happens when you um, add too much tension to the edges of, the, of your vinyl wrap. Let's remove this. Pull that kind of off like a bandage. There we go. We'll go all the way out to there. And then we have to do the door side here. So to do that, it's going to be similar. I'm going to see where I, where I ended here, or where I started. There we go, right under the corner. And you can pull that right off. I'll just cut it. There we go. We're going to make sure that, again, this area is nice and smooth here before we cut. We want this area to be smooth here because when we wrap it around, we don't want to have any creases or wrinkles or anything like that. Now, again, I don't have to wrap it around very far. I'm going to take my knife, push in between the door, both doors, and not too far. If I push too far in, I could cut the jam area to the other part, the other door. So we don't want to obviously cut any paint here, yeah, even though the door has been repainted. Um, I'm still obviously trying to avoid cutting paint. You always want to try to avoid cutting paint. Okay, so let's pull this down. It's not cut yet all the way at the bottom. Let's finish that off. There we go. Awesome. And then we just have the top area to do right here where the window trim goes. So I'm going to pull the film back just slightly and lay that film in really nicely into that window trim area. Do you really have to wrap into here? Eh, not necessarily, but it's always nice. You know, it just gives you a little bit of extra coverage. And as long as we don't stretch the film into this area, there's going to be no bubbles. Not that you're going to see them anyways, but just a uh, word of advice. We don't add tension to it. There will be no bubbles there. I'm going to trim across the top edge as nicely as I can. Again, this will be completely hidden once we put that window trim back on. Knife is not on the paint, right? Just gliding it across the top edge. And I'm just watching what's happening here as I come near the ends or get approach the end. Okay, I'm going to make sure that I've got the covers that I need. So I'm going to leave myself a little bit extra right here. This top corner will be accessible once I open the door, so it'll be much easier at that point. Let's get this out of the way. What I'll do now is I'll just dry this off slightly so you can sort of see what's happening. Uh, also, we need to stretch into the door handle cup area. Imagine doing this with the door handle on. It'd be almost impossible, right? So we're going to heat that up. You're going to watch it shrink, okay? So the film is pre-shrinking at this point. Now, what I'm looking for here is a way to squeegee the air out because the air is trapped, right? So we're going to start usually down on this side here. And I like to go in as, as far as I can right away with my hands. And then work in the deeper parts of the recess, adding a little bit of heat as we go along and do this. It will be crucial to post heat this area. Post heating means that we're going to have to heat it up to the set or the cure temperature. And now here I've got air getting stuck, but we're just going to give it some time and it'll go away. Then the air release works quite well. Okay, so all around here we're just going to work around the little brackets or you know those pieces that hold the handle in. Once we put the handle in and the seals back on, because I removed the seals as well, again this will all be covered. Same over here. Now there's a little screw that sticks out right here. I'm going to snap my knife off. See a little bit of air there. There we go. I'm going to snap my knife off and get a fresh blade and we're going to come right around that screw really nicely. Just like this. This is going to allow the film to drop off around the screw. Yes, you're going to probably see some red. I mean, the screw's red anyways. But again, the seal, little, little seal that for the door handle goes there, right over top of it anyways. So let's heat that and let's push the film down and around the screw. It's good. It's all we needed. Now let's go over all the edges. We're adding heat. We're allowing, basically what I'm doing is I'm heating the film and I'm allowing the film to shrink and let it do its thing. And then we're squeezing it down. This top corner, I'll deal with in a moment. I'm gonna deal, deal with this area first. So we're gonna take this corner right here and you can see the film, the natural shrinking ability is actually wrapping the film around the fender on its own. Don't even have to do anything. Just gonna to touch it a little bit. So it's best to go over this area with your, with your finger or your thumb first. 
and just gently work some of that around. And then we'll go in there with the squeegee. Okay, let's add the squeegee now. And we're just going to try and push. We don't want to have too much vinyl back there, right? That's why I didn't leave too much. It makes it much harder to wrap all that material around. If we have too much material around the inside here, then it will end up usually lifting off and uh, you know, showing that the film is kind of lifting off on the inside of the door there. If that happens, you can go in there and you can trim it off afterwards because most, in most cases, you're still going to have full coverage. All right, let's do the bottom here. And I'll open the door eventually to do this a little bit better. Probably open the door right about now. Let's do it. There's a little hook here to pull. All right, so there we go. Let's stay there. Uh, let's go one more out. There we go. I'm just going to do this top corner up here really easily now that the door is open. I have extra material there, so I'm going to trim that off in a second. And let's go heat up this edge right now. So again, the film is pre-shrinking right down and around that edge. It's beautiful. Let's keep going here. It's always going to be several passes. Let's heat that corner. Look at that. Perfect. No wrinkles no, and nothing there. Same thing down here. The inside edge is super clean. It's super straight. It looks great. Let's do the bottom while we're here and have the door open. Makes things better or easier. Great. And then all I have to do right now is trim off this last little bit of extra material that I have kicking around. Uh, my knife got stuck. There we go. Just this last little bit, just a little bit too much there. And then this door will be wrapped. Back door, it's not really much different at all. It's pretty much the same thing. All right, I'll heat this edge one more time, and we're good to go. Let's close the door. Let's post heat this area here. Super important to do this. If we don't, most films will want to bubble out of here because of the memory in the film. So it's good to get in there and you know, press firmly and get that post heat going. Post heating is the right way to do this. And it feels pretty hot to me. This usually you want to heat to around 200 degrees Fahrenheit, 210 or so. Um, that you can use a digital thermometer for to gauge it, but all in all, in the end, uh, you know, if you have some experience, you don't really need to use digital thermometer. You can just feel that out. That's pretty much it. That's the front door wrapped. It'd be the same for the back door, same for the other two doors. As far as wrapping goes, the color looks excellent on this car. Uh, I really love the reflection off of it. I can see almost everything in the reflection off of the vehicle. Um, again, that might depend on the color and so forth, but you know, this color right here reflects very well. Super gloss, really nice. Uh, I hope the video was detailed, informative, and helpful in showing you how to do this. I look forward to doing more videos for you. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Take care.